Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm back with a new review, Truck Driver Simulator USA. Uh, first thing first about this game, it's a mobile port from the Android and iOS store, and they brought it to the Switch, I think last month or so. Uh, what can I say about it? If you like the uh, the American Truck Simulator games or European Truck games, it's just like that. Just buggier, way buggier. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but if I play three or four runs at a time, the game starts to crash. So I have to play like one or two runs turn it off or go back to the main menu then go back uh, what they should have done was just take a page out of the old 18 wheels of steel games and just made a game based around that I'm gonna take a quick run so you can see what the game looks like It's not that bad of a game, you know, if you just lower your expectations, but uh, there's a lot of graphical pop-ins and some weird things happen if you go off the beaten track, so to speak. You have your outside view, inside cab view, and the bonnet view you show here show your warehouse well I missed it let me reverse okay go back I missed it again. And the thing about this game is you'll see in a minute. It, it doesn't go all the way. Uh, missed it again. Okay. If you see here, it'll only let you go so far using the controller. So you can tell it's made to be either played in handheld mode, so you can scroll all the way down. See, it won't go any further than Vancouver. See? But if you can tell the slider will go even further. But for some reason, using the controller, it won't let you go that far. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. But anyway, we got New York, Nashville, Minneapolis, Vancouver. So let's take a short run to Nashville. In cab view, you have your side view mirrors, which, to be honest, they actually work. You can see the little icon that we just hit right there. Uh, the end game, uh, the cab isn't that detailed, but you know, it's, it's suitable. Uh, you have your GPS, which is, you know, a pretty cool thing. One thing I don't like, oh shucks, uh, I gotta pick up the load first. Then it'll show me my progress or my route. One thing I don't like is if you take the wrong turn, your GPS won't reroute you to where you gotta go. So, and you can see back in the corner right there where the arrow is pointing down, 
that's where I have to go pick up my trailer. So let's back up. And the, you can see how the truck is real wobbly. There's no weight to the truck at all. Which kind of sucks. If you see how it wobbles. I don't know if you can tell in the video or not. But all I'm doing is just going left and right real quick. And you can see how wobbly the truck is. See? There's no weight to the truck at all. Okay, so let's pick up this load. Oh, it's a bus. I actually didn't look at what I picked. I just picked the shortest route. So. All right. So we got this bus. So Greyhound or whatever it is. So let's go, let's drive. And you can see the purple is the uh, my route but like I said if you take the wrong turn it won't reroute you which kind of sucks because sometimes you'll take a wrong turn by accident or whatever and it won't reroute you which I think kind of sucks but I mean it's not it has its problems but I'm sure it's a small developing team so I can't be that harsh because I know I can't do a better job but until we get that truck driver report if it ever happens I've been harassing Sadescu on YouTube about porting truck driver to the switch and they say they have no intention of doing it so or at the time rather so maybe that'll change maybe not who knows but until we get a proper trucking sim game We'll have to do with this. And you can, uh, you have to abide by the rules of the road, stop at stoplights and whatnot, use your traffic, use your uh, blinkers, and you have cruise control. Once we get on the highway, just push A. And I'm going to have to. The traffic is backed up, so. Okay. But I mean, you know, it's, it's a decent game. It has its problems, but. I like playing it, so. I still wish they would just some kind of way port the old 18 Wheels of Steel games to the Switch. I know it'll never happen, but it's a dream. Or at the very least, some developer will port a trucking game that's made for the Switch ground up. Not a port or anything like that, just a trucking game that's built from the ground up for the Switch. That would be pretty awesome. And you can see the icon, see how fast I'm going. And the uh, signages up ahead on the roads. Nashville, Minneapolis. And you can see the icons. Whoa. Come on. Stupid bus driver. You can see the icons. It has a sleep icon, a gas icon, and your truck damage icon is in green. Gas is in blue. Sleep is in red. Hmm. I really wish they would make a steering wheel patch for this game. Because there is a steering wheel, gas pedal, uh, a 
attachment for the Switch. I just think it's a Mario Kart only at the right now, but it'd be cool if they could patch it to other games like WRC 8 or Super Street Racer. There's a gas station right there. No, I think I know. No, that was a way station, which I missed. Is that a way station? No, a gas station. There is a way station in this game, and you have to stop and get way, otherwise you'll get fined. You have to obey the traffic, the speed limits, or you'll get fined as well. Okay, I'm going to switch it to... I'm going to switch it to uh, cruise control in a minute. If I can get past this truck. The traffic is a little dodgy in this game. The AI traffic. I would say it's probably worse than uh, 18 Wheels of Steel, the first game. I think the hard truck, I think it was. 18 Wheels of Steel. And that game has some of the worst AI ever. But it's, a, it's a still a fun game, though. Really fun game. One thing about this game I haven't noticed. Uh, it doesn't rain in the game, as far as I know. Okay, we're about to make a right-hand turn. I think I've seen a little bit of snow in Canada. But I haven't seen any rain, so hitting your wipers is kind of pointless. Is this my turn? No. Okay, we're almost here, I think. If you watch the traffic, they turn really crazy in this game. It's like got a traffic problem, which happens a lot in this game, so. There's some CB chatter in the game as well, but there's no way of responding, so. And if there is, I don't know how. Forty-five. Okay, I'm still under the speed limit. It's like we're almost there. It's a short route anyway. One thing I wish they would do is pretty cool. If you play the old 18 Wheels of Steel games, sometimes they would, on well, certain games, they would tell you, you would see signs saying, Welcome to such and such state or something like that. I thought that was pretty cool. I wish they would do it here, but... Man, come on, light. Okay, there you go. And I wish they would have like a... There's no weight in this game. That's one thing I don't like about it. Like you, there's, the trucks are real wobbly. And I don't know if that's because I have a the default truck or what, but there's no uh, 
no weight in this truck at all, even with a trailer. Okay, I'm gonna try to park it manually for you guys, even though I'm not the world's best at parking in this game. But let's see what I can do. Ooh, now it's gonna be a tight fit. Uh, let's see. If you park, you get extra XP and all. Ah, uh, forget it. It's a tight fit. So I'm just gonna go ahead and auto park. And distance driven, 280 miles. Reward, $11,000. You got some XP. And there. And you can see at the bottom, you have your warehouse, the little red house looking thing. Uh, your yellow is the sleep icon. And the red with the cog and wrench is your repair station. You can go and uh, fix your truck up, change your truck, or upgrade it. And I need to, you can also do a oil change. But uh, I need to get that power kit. That's $120 in coins for my engine or my gearbox. Put up gearbox three. That's 80 bucks or well, 80 coins. Yeah, $62,000, 9,000 XP. And let's see. As far as trains and trucks, let's see how much the trucks are cost. Let's see, I wish the trucks had names too, even though I know they're fictional names, but oh, there's still a lot of money. 95,000, 103,000, 145. It looks like I've still got a long way to go before I can buy a truck. Man. So I don't even know what's the best truck. I don't even know if this weight matters. Because the trucks are all wobbly. Or at least my default truck was wobbly. So, but uh, I think I paid like 13, 14 bucks for this game. On the eStore. There's no physical copy on the Switch. Or anywhere for that matter. Because it's a mobile port but uh all in all i give it maybe i don't know a three out of five maybe i mean it's something to play if you itching for a trucking game it's not the best of course there's plenty of pop in but it is what it is so till next time guys